All right, guys, pulled up at the Harbor Freight this morning. Let's go in and see if they got one of them um, 4x8 heavy-duty trailers. I want to build one of those up for four-wheeler. Multi, kind of multi-purpose. They said they had two on the phone. Let's go in and check it out. And I shall report back. All right, so I got the trailer. They loaded it up for me, super easy. They did have two left, even though the website said they had none, so it was cool. Uh, got me a little swing away trailer jack. And uh, it comes with an MCO, which is cool. So you don't have to go get it weighed to get it titled. I can just take that MCO up to the uh, the BMV and get plates for it. And uh, I just got a miter saw in here. I gotta do this, finish some trim on my floor, but um, yeah, I'm stopping to get gas right now. Probably grab a drink. But yeah, look, this is, can you believe this is a whole ass trailer, a 4x8 trailer in these two little boxes? I, I mean, I don't even know. I think the wheels are in here and this is all just the metal. It's, it's kind of wild. I heard they're pain in the butt to build, but I don't know. Maybe I'll time lapse it or something, but let's finish getting gas, get something to drink, head home and throw this thing in the garage all right guys I got the uh, Harbor Freight trailer unboxed it took me about a half hour to get everything out uh, we got fenders some sort of brackets all the lighting leaf springs casters um, your um, your ball thing there stake pockets this is a gigantic bag of bolts I don't know it's kind of a lot to a lot to look at. I got my helper out here to help me. Dad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got an axle, and then we got the the trailer uh, body. I guess you would call it itself. So I'm not gonna film this real time. I'm probably gonna take breaks here and there. I'm not. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, so uh, I'm just gonna do a little bit here and there. Oh yeah, we got our wheels over there. And uh, we're gonna kind of get after it, and um, I'll update you here in just a bit once we make some progress. All right, guys. Step one is officially done. Uh, it takes uh, 17 millimeter sockets and a wrench. I ended up using a ratchet, uh, a wrench, and uh, an impact because um, some of the bolts are actually kind of a pain to get to, and you have to use a wrench, and it's still it's still hard to get to the ones in the, um, like in some of the channels because you can't get a ratchet in there. Um, really though, just on the corners you're, cause you're fighting other bolts in your way. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, um, but yeah, step one's done. I'm going to move on to step two. I think step two is where you put the actual like toe bars on. So I'm going to do that now and I'll let you know how that goes. All right, y'all step two is done. It's taking a minute to do this. I'm moving a little bit slow just because I don't feel that great. Um, but yeah, so the, the tongue part of the trailer is on. And uh, we're going to move on to step three. This is all the metal bits I got left. So it, I think it's just the back half. And then I'm assuming that the frame itself is going to be built after that. Then it's just going to be axle, springs, and uh, wiring. I don't know. Just a guess. But let's, uh, let's see what the manual says here. Uh, instructions are actually pretty good. Let's see. Yep, so now we're building the the rear the rear square, and then it's going to bolt up to the front. So let me get that done, and I'll let you know what that looks like. All right, guys, update three. Our bag is definitely getting emptier. Still got a bunch of stuff to do though, but it's starting to look like a trailer, kinda. Uh, the next step is gonna be putting the leaf spring hangers on the left and right side. Right now it's still upside down. Uh, they told you to flip it over twice. I just kept it upside down basically the whole time and just you know, flip-flopped everything. Um, so there's the one spring hanger, the other one's right there already. And then um, I, I'm assuming that's Maybe I, I don't know what those are, but those I think are part of this step. So once this step's done, this next step, the 
all the red bits will be on the trailer. And then I think it's going to be spring axle and wheels. I'm going to hit it again in the morning. I'm going to go to bed. It's getting a little bit late here. I will catch back up with you in the AM. All right, guys, it is the next morning slash afternoon. I got about, I got a super late start today. I've been feeling worse and worse. My throat is on fire, um, but I got to get some stuff done. This is my last day off work. I took three days off to get a bunch of stuff done. So um, I've still got a long list of stuff. I'm just not going to get to. I'm running out of energy. But uh, the trailer is coming along. I just did that, that step we, we stopped on last night. I put the, um, the leaf spring brackets on and the casters. Um, so the next step is to put on the fenders on either side. And then I think it's going to be axle and leaf springs. And then it's going to be running the wires and, and then we're done. So let me zip these fenders on. Oh, real quick. Uh, these casters were kind of a pain to get on here tightened. I had to kind of get creative with a pair of long needle nose. Um, you can't get a wrench in there. It's too skinny. So I used a pair, long pair of needle nose, and then um, once they started to get tight, where but where I could still get the pliers out, I kind of just used the pliers to wedge pressure on it, and it, it zipped it in all the way. So. Just a quick tip there. So far, that's been the biggest pain in the butt is actually tightening the, the stupid caster wheels. Um, you will need a combination of ratchets and wrenches. Um, 17 mil, 14, 18, um, and different, like I said, different combinations. I've had to use a few different types of wrenches or things depending on what the access is like. But uh, let's get these fenders zipped on and I'll show you what that looks like. So the fenders are on. One thing they don't tell you is that for most, not most, but a lot of the stuff that you guys got to do when this thing's flipped over, which like I said, mine's been flipped over the whole time. I've just been doing it basically everything underneath. Um, you got to lift this thing up. You got to have something to prop this thing on. Without without something to prop this thing on, like I just got mine kind of resting on that jack stand. Uh, like your fenders, like are just gonna be smashed into the concrete or whatever you're working on trying to support it up to get this stuff on. I almost feel like you could have done the fenders last unless you can't, or, you know, take the wheel off and then, I don't know. I, I don't know what it looks like together, but that was kind of a pain. Uh, so just keep in mind, I guess, the way that I'm doing it required everything, you, you have to prop the trailer up to, to get it in the air so the fenders aren't just smashed onto the concrete. On to the next step, which looks like it is, it is axle time and leaf spring time. So let's, uh, oh, this says berry, bearing packing. I did already look that the, um, the bearings are already packed. There's a bunch of new grease in there, so I don't, I don't have to worry about that. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's do this, uh, axle and leaf springs. Got that uh, axle zipped on there. That was super butter. There's little like notches that it sits into. The thing, the only thing that sucks is just um, tightening all four bolts on either side. I couldn't get my impact in there, so I had to just use a ratcheting wrench. But just another 17 mil. So I just took a quick look at the tires. That's the next step is to put on the hub onto the axle. Um, so I, 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 I may be wrong. Our bearings in there chilling. It's it is greased, but I don't know. I, I almost feel like I should probably go buy. I don't have any grease, so I think I might have to run up and get some grease, and just pack these myself. Um, I don't know. I'm still undecided. There is a, a grease port right there. Maybe I can shoot some in there and just check the, how the bearing looks. But. First step is to take the hub off the wheel, just the, the uh, 19 mil lug nuts on that, so you'll need 19. And then I'm gonna pop this dust cover off and um, see what we got in there. Okay, popped it off. And what we got in there is a loose bearing. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get gross, but probably should have a glove on. Nah, that's good. That's that's packed. All the all the grease is through each of the things. 
So I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna clean my hand up here and get this uh, get this show on the road. So I got the hub on. Everything's good. Super greased in there now. Um, got my castle nut on. Cotter pin, don't forget that. This is a 32 millimeter castle nut. So make sure you have a 32 millimeter socket, or I guess, you know, a big ass adjustable wrench would probably work. Hey, look at this thing. It's like a water beetle or something. What the? Sorry, bro. We're gonna have to uh, dispatch you. But yeah, so that's it. I'm gonna put the uh, the wheel on now, do the other side, and then it's gonna be time to flip this bad boy over. I haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna do that yet, but let's get it. All right, wheels and tires are on, bolted up, good to go. I've not torqued them yet. I'm gonna do that once it's on the ground. Um, so now the next step is to flip it over, um, attach the, the two inch ball coupler on the front, and the safety chain, I think, and then mount the lights and run the wiring. And then that's it. So this is a long process though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, doing it by myself, it's it's probably, I've probably already got, I don't know, three hours into it of, of solid work. Um, and I still gotta do, like I said, the, the wiring and stuff. So it's, a, it's a probably at least a four hour job for one person, like minimum. Um, and I have, you know, the fastest tools that I could fit in places to use and everything. So, you know, plan on, plan on at least half a day, I would say. If you, if you don't have any good place to work um, or the proper tools, it could probably even take you longer. But, um, yeah, so let me try to get some help to flip this thing over and um, mount up the, the coupler and run the wiring. Let's do it. So I'm putting the lights on. I'm just mounting them all up now. You know, no big deal. Um, but I wanted to make a quick note and give you guys a piece of advice. On these little side marker lights that go up here on the front. Um, so you, you pop the, the lens covers off, uh, which isn't necessarily required, but they tell you to do it. But I'm glad I did because they had these things running through that little hole right here. Okay, where my finger's blocking it. And with the wires running there, they're getting like ultra pinched trying to mount this thing. Like, I feel like that at some point would cause a short for sure. So I just drilled a little hole right in the center and now it, it, it matches up with the, the hole and um, it's gonna look like this. So you just shove these things in there like that. And then boom, there's no undue stress. So give that a try. I'm gonna keep plugging away, but I, I did want to bring that to your attention, so give that a try. Got it all together, thing on. I went ahead and put on my swingway trailer jack. Uh, that is not included, just so you guys know that I bought that separate from Harbor Freight when I bought this. Um, I just wanted something to support it on and I can roll it around super easy by myself, no problem. But yeah, it seems pretty solid. I'm doing the wiring now. Uh, I'm actually gonna detour from this project just for a little bit. I can do this at night in the garage. Um, I got some stuff I gotta do out in the daylight, but um, I got it kind of running down, separating. Now, disclaimer for me, my purpose is your wiring probably isn't gonna be like mine. I'm gonna zip tie it and make it all nice and clean um, as I'm doing it, but um, I am not going to fold this trailer. I, I it, it folds. I don't care. I've got plenty of space to put it. You know, I'm lucky in that aspect. So I have no desire to fold this. Um, I'm not leaving extra wire where it hinges and trying to measure how much to leave, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm just going to run a wire how I'd run a normal non-folding trailer. And um, it's going to be different if you're going to fold yours. Just keep that in mind. So I'm going to play around with how I'm going to run it. And uh, once it's all done, we'll just probably back the truck up, make sure all the lights work. I'll show you what that looks like. But for now, guys, we're, we're done. 
Like I said, it's about a four hour process by yourself. If you had two sets of tools and a helper, I think it would, you could, somebody could build the front while someone's building the back. Um, each person take a wheel. It could be way faster. But for me, first time doing it, I bet you I could cut off at least an hour, if not more, if I had to do another one. But so far, it seems pretty solid. And, and I tell you, this, this sucker's got some ground clearance. It, it really does. It, it's kind of, it sits up really high, which is cool. Um, the reason I bought it is to haul small things without getting the massive trailer out. This is going to be super light. The trailer's like under 300 pounds. Um, even with a piece of wood on it, I'm going to just put a piece of plywood on it probably. But I, I got it for this, the CF Moto C-Force. Um, if I want to go riding by myself, I can just put it up on here and not have to take the giant trailer. So that's it. I'll probably show you when I get the lights working, but it's a simple, you, you connect the colors basically. And it's not really hard to do. It's just, I want to do it right. And, and I want to be particular with how I end up running this stuff. But yeah, that's it guys. So far so good. It seems like a pretty good little build. Uh, the, most of the welds and stuff look good. The uh, one thing though that I noticed, uh, I went back and checked everything. I've got, I've got all these extras. I've got four of these and then one random nut of a bigger size. But I ended up using all this stuff in one fashion or another. So you are going to need some tools. But yeah, I'll finish this up later. For now, I'm going to move on to some other stuff. And we'll see you then. It's a couple days later, starting to feel a little bit better. Got the trailer done. Obviously there's no floor on it, but I got all my connections made. Uh, heat shrink tubing where necessary. Uh, I got them tucked. I did leave a little bit of sloppy right up there in order to let the trailer tilt. So if I want to load it as a tilted trailer, I can do so. Um, otherwise that would be tucked in there super nice. I don't love it, but it's, it, I tested it already. It works pretty good. Um, but yeah, so that's it. This is going to be the last video or the last part of this series. Uh, like I said, wiring is done, tested, all lights work. Everything is good to go. Wheels uh, and tires torqued down to 90 foot pounds. And uh, that's it. It is ready to tow other than there's obviously no floor. That is to come very soon. I'm probably just going to throw a sheet of plywood on there and um, see how it goes. I, I got two. I got two uh, old pieces of plywood out in the other garage, so that's why I'm gonna do it because it's it's basically free, and um, kind of figure out exactly how I want to mount it and things like that. Make sure the quad actually fits on it properly and, and it toes okay. Then, if I want to, I'll go get a nice piece of wood, or um, I mean, sure, you could do a piece of diamond plate. You could do anything you want, really. Um, I think with diamond plate or something kind of small, you're gonna have a lot of give in these. In these four sections here though because there's no like uh, vertical support beams so that could be something that I add I don't know you could probably fit some like figure out what the measurement is and maybe even put some wood studs and and zip them in these little holes uh, you could do that I guess to, to get a little support you can't do it on all of them though because the channels don't line up on any of them except for the, the two middle ones I don't know it, it's it's uh Something I'm going to think about. I might look at some other videos and stuff and see what other people are doing. I went into this completely blind. I did not watch anything prior to this. Um, so this was kind of like real life stuff. About four hours total. Um, and I, I feel like you can't really beat it for the, for the money this costs. But that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Next time you see the saying, it'll probably have a quad on it or at least a floor. And I'll let you know what I decided to do there. Please hit subscribe, stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Take it easy.